This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, I'm Whitney, SnapEd educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension, and today we'll be talking about peas. My plate suggests to vary your veggies. Luckily, there are dozens to choose from, and they come in many forms, fresh, frozen, canned, whole, or even cut up. But with all of this variety, it can be hard to keep track of how to store and use each one. So in today's video, we'll be highlighting one of my daughter's favorites, peas. From the market or garden, to your kitchen, to your plate, you'll learn how to get the most out of your peas and save some money along the way. Green garden peas are legumes, just like dried peas, except they're harvested at an earlier stage. So instead of being in the beans and peas vegetable subgroup like other legumes, these green peas are actually a starchy vegetable. And one cup equals one serving. In that one cup, you're getting up to seven grams of fiber, about 20% of what you need for the day. This helps with healthy digestion and keeps our heart healthy too. By incorporating two to four cups of colorful vegetables throughout the day, you're being a champion for your family's health and providing them with the best nutrients possible. Green peas are in season in the spring and also in the fall. There are three types, green peas, snow peas, and sugar snap peas. Green peas grow in a pod that are removed from the shell for cooking and eating. These should be plump, firm, and shouldn't rattle around in the pod. With snow peas and sugar snap peas, the pod and the peas can be eaten together. The main difference is snow peas are flat and smaller peas. And sugar snap peas are plump, crisp, and snap like green beans when bent. These are my family's favorite. With whichever peas your family likes, choose firm, bright green, and medium-sized pods. Avoid ones that are discolored, broken, or wrinkled. At the farmer's market, Sugar snap and snow peas tend to be the least expensive, but overall, all peas are cheaper when in season, around May to mid-July. To avoid waste, only buy what you need, since fresh peas only last a few days. Frozen and canned peas can last longer in your pantry, plus they're cost-effective, nutritious, and can be found all year round. And with canned, look for low-sodium options by checking the Nutrition Facts label, Rinsing canned goods can always help remove excess sodium too. At home, it's important to store your peas properly. They are more flavorful the day they are purchased, so use as soon as possible. Peas can be stored in the fridge for up to three days to fully enjoy them. Use a perforated bag with holes, otherwise the peas may sweat and spoil quicker. Keep the shell on your green peas and not washing them until use will also help them last longer. Since peas do not need to be cut, this is an easy vegetable the kids can wash and prep to get involved in the kitchen. Before using, wash your hands with warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds, and rinse the peas under cold running water and pat dry with a paper towel. For sugar snap and snow peas, trimming off the end and removing the string that runs down the middle is an optional step, but for green peas, you do need to do this to pop the peas out of the shell. Once cleaned and ready, peas can be cooked in several ways. They can be boiled, steamed, stir-fried, or really added into any dish of your choosing. Garden peas are typically boiled. Fresh from the pod, they may take two to three minutes to become tender. Steaming is typically used for peas in the pod, snow peas, or sugar snap, and it only takes one to two minutes to cook. Both boiled and steamed peas pair really nicely with pasta dishes like our one pot chicken alfredo recipe. Stir frying goes nicely with snow peas. To cook, add snow peas in the heated saucepan and stir for five to seven minutes. They are delicious when served with other vegetables, whole grain brown rice, and a little soy sauce or your favorite low sodium seasonings. Always keep a close eye when cooking peas so they don't ever overcook and become mushy. And if you're using frozen or canned, check the package for cooking directions. However you decide to prepare your peas, remember they are a quick fix vegetable, especially because they can be eaten raw too. Try them with a low fat dip or add it to salads. The options are endless. Other ways to make half of your plate fruits and vegetables with peas 
are these recipes from our Snap Egg New York Recipe Bank. Italian roasted snap peas, stovetop tuna casserole, and bean and veggie soup are just a few options to choose from. Making every bite count starts with one or two options that are rich in nutrition. After hearing all of the great ways to use peas, I hope I have inspired you to try one new way today. Varying your veggies becomes a bit easier when you know how to buy, store, and prepare them in affordable and tasty ways. Again, if you're looking for more ideas on how to incorporate peas into your meals, check out snapededny.org or check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.